Jess, I'm the fairy voice mother and today I'm going to be analysing Eivor Polstotter performing Trodlebundin, which I'm 99% sure is not supposed to be pronounced like that. This has been brought to my attention many times, usually with the warning there will be many ethereal sounds, a few head scratches. How is it done? If I figure it out, you will be the first to know. If you happen to be new here, I'm so happy you are. My name's Lolly, I'm a vocal coach, and more importantly, this is Daphne. And our quest is to teach you how crazy vocal sounds are made. I've never seen this performance before, but you're gonna see my reaction to it as well as my analysis, <laughs> if you want. If not, it's fine, but Daphne would cry. So it's up to you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's a fairy. Oh, those backbeats on the drums. <laughs> oh. There are some beautiful stylistic choices in the vocals. That yodel was really cute because it didn't just disappear into breath at the top. Sometimes yodels have the tendency to do that. They just kind of... It's controlled at the top when she sings... It's got a strength to it. It's not just... And the reason that's super impressive and magical is because this crack that you hear whenever we get... It's the vocal folds drastically change in thickness as opposed to if we were to do the same notes ah, stretching and then slacking with the same kind of thickness. But when we hear ah, that break, the vocal folds have for a teeny weeny bambini second had to stop oscillating to change thickness. So they've gone from thick to thin suddenly. And this can be something that happens by accident if we haven't yet developed the control to keep the vocal folds in contact while we blend the note. Or it can be used as it is in this case as a desirable vocal effect because it's kind of <laughs> spine tingling. I bloody love it. I'm a big yodel fan. Yodel five ever. You can even hear it there, just a teeny weeny break as opposed to it being blended and connected like Mother. It's got the mother. And this is so cool because it's not even like a functional yodel. It doesn't need to take the voice to a new place. It's just used as a little inflection to give us something to woo. -hoo. Among that, she uses this constant hiss of breath through the voice. And it's giving her access to so many dynamics. She's really using the presence of breath to push the voice out and bring it back in again, like a little breath pedal. Specifically aids dynamics when you want them to be very quiet. Because she's got breath through everything, it's always there as like a big floaty cloudy cushion. So she doesn't need to worry when she wants to get really quiet because her voice is just going to turn into a whisper, which is so beautiful and delicate. Eee, I love it. Oi, my This is amazing. Because of the varying intensities of her voice, like now that she's singing with more strength, it kind of gives the impression that some kind of instrument came in. But no, she's already been able to carry us through this crescendo, this journey. 
She can make one note kind of sound like two different notes. She divided that ba, ba. <laughs> and that was with the push of breath. That time it wasn't with a yodel. And it's this wonderful control that she has over her breath that allows her to play with the dynamics in this way. It's super unique. And you know one thing I just think is the cutest thing ever? Like folk music always has this beautiful balance between delicate inflections like this and then strength. You'll get these big kind of... But then in between those notes, there'll be little pitch bends and cracks. And I think it's really emotive and it tells stories in a super vivid way folk music is obviously super old and maybe we've taken some of those inflections from folk music and sort of put it into what now is our collective folk music i guess you would call that pop <laughs> and this type of music for me sort of signifies the birth of some of those vocal techniques perhaps in their most organic form <laughs> That big, ah, she did at the beginning, gave the voice that big pressure cushion. And then she can pull it back and push it through again. Oh, it's so cool. The vocal quality is so different now. We really feel like we've entered a chorus and it's built, but it hasn't built in any other way apart from her ability to play with vocal qualities because there's no other instruments. It's just her magical fairy princess powers of controlling the intensity of voice. <laughs> She's the personification of the characters I would try and draw as a kid. Magical, mystical, ethereal, not real fairy princesses. They couldn't be real because they're just too beautiful and perfect. Like that is her. She is a big deal. <laughs> So now she's opened her mouth more and we've got even more intensity than we had before. So she really is building this. Everything's got this little baby crescendo on it whenever she wants. Phrase is a different intensity. <coughs> oh! I wasn't expecting that. That was so fabulous! From what folk is this? Because I would like to apply. So fun! Oh, this is so cool! This is so cool! It seems to be like a constant inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And whenever she's exhaling, she's using her false folds and sending these vibrations up through her vocal tract and into her nose. It isn't like an isolated growl. <sighs> I think they're dependent on her nose. <gasps> Those high pitches are for sure inhales. There was a little double one in there. <laughs> You're never too princessy to beatbox. Something that I think is really cool is that we can actually pitch our throat. I know. You can take a lid of a bottle and bite it. Don't inhale it and choke and die. Don't inhale at all. And then when you flick this, you'll see the pitch change and then I'll tell you why. When you extend and drop your throat, the pitch will become lower because the sound energy originated by my finger has further to travel. So it doesn't bounce so much producing that higher frequency. It produces a slower and therefore lower frequency. But when I lift the throat, it gets shorter and therefore the sound has less distance to travel. So it bounces around the inside of my throat really, really fast, producing faster and therefore higher frequency. 
and you can actually get super nuanced with this and control the shape of the throat to the point where you can choose the pitches that you want to inhale on. <gasps> It fills me with untold glee to see people using their vocal instrument in such an exciting, unique way. Because you can do so much in your magical human body. I really wasn't expecting that. That was a terrific surprise. Oh, this is well connected. Spectacular, spectacular. What I was talking about earlier was this incredible combination in folk music across the whole world where there seems to be the strong, powerful bit and then the delicate bit. Now we're in the strong, powerful bit. Oh, that strength is coming in now using the same muscles that control our talking voice. Those high notes are not exclusively in that mode too. Uh, anymore. Uh, there's still those same inflections in there, but they're in the context now of strength because of that inclusion of the mode one. <laughs> oh, it's so powerful. And I love how they've paired that with the scenes of nature, which is like the most powerful thing there is. Well, because we're all nature. So raw nature in its most powerful <laughs> Form. Everything about this performance is just so tuned in with truth and beauty and earthliness and spiritualness and it's just, it's magic, it's pure magic. Those echoes are really making it an extra layer of fabulous as well because you're getting all the stuff that she's doing twice and it's so good. Surely we want it as many times as we can. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. There were things that I was expecting that didn't happen and then things I wasn't expecting that did happen. Like I wasn't expecting another drum kit to come in, but I was expecting maybe another harmonic instrument to come in. What do I know? It was not necessary, but 
adding that drum kit over not only the drum here, but then the rhythmic sounds that she was doing with her mouth, it was just so much rhythm and so much drive. It was overwhelming. It was super deep. Like I felt all of those reflections of resonance hitting off of all of those drum components right inside me. There wasn't actual harmony. It was just a one melody and rhythm. When we got to hear her voice echoed back, it sort of overlapped with her voice after it was produced. This is so fascinating because it's all about the power that comes in the diversity of her vocal expression. A five minute song of just one lead melody. It was so simple on paper. And then she just brought like 100% of the magic. What do the lyrics mean? Spellbound I am, the wizard has enchanted me. Spellbound deep in my soul, in my heart burns a sizzling fire. Spellbound in my heart's root, my eyes gaze to where the wizard stood. So it's literally about being spellbound. Magically possessed. True story. <laughs> Another layer of loveliness on top of this is the fact that there was like less than 50 people watching, a few carrots over there, a big ass lake and not much else. I feel like I've just been let into someone's private, whatever this is. It's got this grand air of secrecy and mystery about it and a lack of profit <laughs> that's really endearing just super wholesome and musical and for the people which i guess is what folk music is so there's absolutely everything to love about her voice i have to know more who is she where is she from where does she live and no, i'm kidding who is your daddy and what does he do is this like a traditional style of singing is this something that she would have learned from ancestors or peers in this community is there more performances we can watch together. Let's have a look at what today's oracle card has to say. It's the cinnamon bun of self-confidence. You might need a good old dash of self-confidence right now. What's triggering those feelings of low self-worth? Awareness is everything. Get out of your own way, you tasty treat. <laughs> you are a very tasty treat. I must admit. Oh, I'm so happy because this suggestion just ticked all of the boxes, something vocally amazing and just beautiful in every way. So if you've got any more suggestions like this, vocal, music, fabulousness that you'd like to see me analyze, please do let me know down below in the comments as it would be my true pleasure. If you're here with me at the premiere, then big premiere hug for you. Thank you so much for coming. But if you're here at any other time, then big hug for you too. I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you very, very much. And I cannot wait to see you again in the next video. Mwah. Bye. Analyzation. What's that? <laughs> it's ticking me. Oh. Sorry, that's way too fun.